So, um, so anyways, um, finally, um, how to make your own radiation, you know, costume or whatever you call it, part three. Took me a while to, you know, put this all together, but uh, here it is. Um, I, I said I will make a part three once I get most of the stuff, and I got most of it. I, I just got to turn on the light. I got the, yeah, yeah, this, I am going to cover up the middle because I don't want the, the wood to show. Because I, I, for me, I want to make it the, the most realistic as I can. I put this little tube that goes into a clear, clear tubing. This is the tubing that the painters uh, sprayed the walls. You can easily get these at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, you know, go to a store where I, it's like for construction and they have these. Same with these. Uh, these are only like two dollars. No, actually, this is, uh, my bad. Uh, this, 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 this little, um, tubes cost me a dollar ninety nine. Uh, seven bucks, uh, for this one. It was longer by cutting it to make it short. And this little piece will cost you about ninety nine cents. So that's like about ten dollars right there, just for all of this. Probably no, about ten to nine dollars. And I also got these rubber boots with with gold trim on the side, which is pretty dope. And the bottom underneath is um, yellow, yellow like goldish with gray. Yeah, these are these are good boots for the for the you know for the suit. I have I like the gold trim. Brings out the brings it out to the costume. Um, yeah, I just need the 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 jacket and the pants. This is all I got. I'm almost done. I just need that, and I also got to cover up. The air tank, because I don't want this to show. And um, on the sides, you can leave the sides if you want to, but on the sides, I'm going to put like handlebars from here to here. So, like, if you ever get tired of holding it. You could always, um, you know, there's handlebars, you know, there uh, that you can hold on to it. Um, but you could also hold it from here, which is sort of like okay. And like, uh, depending what size of your mask, um, depend depends the size. Mine was like one and a half, uh, like inch and a half. Just to get this, I this barely fitted. So yeah, um, you're wondering, um, since both sides are plugged up, can I breathe? Uh, yeah, because right here, there's the lid. I drilled a hole, so this could attach to here, and the air comes here, 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 past the tubing, into here, into here. And there's air in there, so so like you guys won't have to worry. Like you won't, don't worry if you like suffocate or anything because once all the air is gone from here, you have the backup. And you're wondering, um, uh, what about if like both of them run out of air? Then you just take off the mask. Air travels in here through this piping. And here, and here, and then eventually go into this one. Um, I'm going to put a second one, like one of these, in here, and I'll put uh, a hose that goes from here to this one on the side, and I have a third one, one of these little, um, you know, so I can breathe, uh, not breathe, but like the respirator and the speaker. Um, yeah, um, what's it called, um, 
Uh, you know, if you're wondering if this is safe, yeah, this is safe. Uh, I tested it out. I wore it for at least like seven hours and no side effects. I didn't feel nauseous or anything. Completely safe. I tested it out. But you guys don't have to put the, the hosing if you don't want. I just put this to make, make it look more realistic. So yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and peace out.